was our one to watch, Fionn Regan with Be Good or Be Gone. The RTE 2FM Tato Song Contest took place in Vic Street on Friday night. Here's the moment where the winner was announced. The first place in the 25th RTE 2FM Tato Song Contest goes to Song Hate Joy on Pamela Collins! <laughs> And she's here in studio with me now. Pamela, you're very welcome to SMS. Hey. Did you enjoy Friday night, to yeah, say the it, least? it was brilliant, it was. Were you, like, nervous about your performance before you went on stage? Yeah, I was very nervous. And what did you think of the other acts who performed? I thought they were brilliant. I didn't think I'd win because they were so good. And why did you decide to enter this competition? Uh, well, I got, like, uh, lots of family was backing me and going, I think you should do it. I think my sister got me the form and everything. It's like, I think you should do this contest. So I sent it in. And when you got the phone call to say that you were one of the ten finalists, how did you feel? Uh, I like jumped out of bed and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> now, why did you decide to enter this particular song? Well, I had a lot of songs put together on a CD, but um, that was the, most, the song went, was catchy and it, like most people liked it, so I just sent it in. It's your favourite? Yeah. yeah. Now, tell us, when did you start writing songs? Like a year and a half ago when I started playing guitar again. Okay. So... And what, did you just one day suddenly think to yourself, God, I might write a song, or what? Well, when I was younger, like, I used to write, like, little poems and stuff, and, like, I, like, hummed to myself little, like, tunes, like, well, there's no point if you're not going to, like, play guitar and write proper songs, so. You said, I'll go for it? Yeah. Yeah. How many songs do you reckon you've written? Uh, like, over 20, 30 songs, maybe. And have you been interested in music since you were, like, yay high? Yeah, very interested in music. And um, do you play instruments? Well, guitar. It's really it. So, what age were you when you started playing guitar? Well, I was eight, but I gave up. But right. I just took it up again. Excellent. So. Now, the prize is absolutely yeah. fantastic. Tell us about the prize again. Uh, it's uh, uh, f six days in a studio and um, 500 CDs worth 10,000 euro. Okay, so what do you reckon you're going to do when you get into that studio? Record as many songs as possible. Do you, do you reckon you'll get all 20 songs that you've written done? I don't know about that. I'll just choose the best ones. Cool, cool. And what will you do with those 500 CDs then? I don't know, give them to people. <laughs> cool, cool. You might even send one in to us here. Yeah. <laughs> very, very, very cool. Now tell us about who influences you musical-wise. Like, who would you be a fan of? Uh, Katie Tunsell, Martha Wainwright, Rufus Wainwright, uh, Pete Doherty. Cool. Um, Bold boy. <laughs> yeah. He's a great songwriter. So. Cool, cool. Um, uh, Elvis, I liked him since I was little. Do you think you sound like anyone in particular? Uh, people are telling me that I sound like Lily Allen or Amy Winehouse, but like, I don't know. Do you think they're cool? I think they're deadly. And would you like to have a career in the music business or what do you reckon you'd like to do now? Yeah, I'd love to have a career in the music business if that happens. Like To be a singer and a songwriter? Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Um, and like, where would you see yourself now, say in 10 years? So. Uh, hopefully still making music. Cool, cool. Now Laura Isobar was performing. Yeah. Are you a fan of hers? Yeah, I heard her and I think she's like amazing. She's done amazingly well because we heard a rumour that she's actually in studio today performing a soundtrack for a Hollywood movie. Now would you like to do that in a few years? Yeah, that would be great. And what do you reckon of other reality song contests? Would you like to maybe go in for your star or something like that again? I don't know. Uh, maybe, but like, I'll just try it like without reality television for a while. Cool. Well, definitely send us in the CD when you've got it done. Congratulations, Pamela. You're an absolute star. Time for us now, though, to find out who's at number one in the download chart. Here it is from five to one.